What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. We're done with the holidays everybody. I hope everybody had an awesome time with friends, family, and loved ones. I know I did, but also I was extremely busy uh, during the holidays in the property management world. It was the busiest time of the year. So I was extremely busy. I hardly got uh, an opportunity to actually watch the markets live. Um, but from time to time, I would sneak in and and, uh, and and sort of just see the uh, market action and whatnot. But I had no time to actually watch the markets live until today. I didn't place a trade today. So instead of um, you know just showing you uh, a boring trading day where I didn't place a trade, I thought I would talk to you about an indicator that I came across that is the most intriguing indicator I've ever came across. It's intriguing because it's the most objective um, indicator I've ever seen. By objective, I mean it's the same and it doesn't matter whether you're looking at the daily chart, the 15 minute, 30 minute, 10 minute, five minute, all the way down to the one minute chart. It's all the same. What I mean by that is on the one minute chart, it could be a value of say just one. And it's one, regardless if it's you're, you're, you're looking at the five minute, 10 minute, hour, daily. It's the strangest indicator I've ever seen, along with being the strangest indicator I've ever seen. I have researched it and I can't seem to come across a good explanation for what it is. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And mainly because it is so objective and because there's not much information out there, that leads me to believe that I should look more into it. The indicator that I'm talking about is the implied volatility indicator. And what I mean by that is um, I'm not talking about implied volatility dealing with options directly. I'm talking about implied volatility, the indicator. You can find it on Thinkorswim. It's, uh, you can look it up under IMP for implied volatility, IMP volatility. You, um, it's a lower indicator uh, below the chart, uh, much like you would see the, the MACD RSI line, stuff like that. But it's so weird. Nobody seems to understand exactly how it's calculated um, you can find formulas as to how implied volatility is calculated but as the indicator i can't find any information about it it's so strange and also it's strange because it doesn't matter whether price is moving up or down that indicator will move up or down I don't get it. I don't. I can't seem to understand how it's working. Much like um, the, let's just say the uh, sarcastics indicator. It's a momentum uh, indicator using past history. It'll take, let's say, the last 14 candles, and it'll give you um, an indication as to, uh, in relation to those last 14 candles where price is whether it's trading um in the upper part of the 14 last 14 candles or the lower part or or in the middle implied volatility isn't like that it's strange i can't even begin to explain to you how fascinated i am by this one indicator and it just leads me to believe that i need to really look deeper into this indicator um, incorporate into my day, um, to my day trading. I think, um, that it's sort of justifying the price movements. I think, um, I don't know exactly, um, what I mean by that a in a nutshell. I think that I mean that when price is moving up, is there enough volume to justify that move up? And then vice versa, when the uh, price is moving down, is there volume justifying that move down? That's the best thing I've, I've been able to come up with in the last uh, month or so, maybe a little bit longer since I've actually come across this indicator. 
and I've held it for so long because I just I don't I don't understand it and I've been trying to do some research into how it works how I can use it to my benefit when day trading I can't find it anywhere um, I've, I've googled it many many times maybe I'm overlooking it maybe I'm just um, thinking too hard and maybe it's just right there so if anybody has any information about this implied volatility indicator I'm, I'm literally talking there's a difference there implied volatility um, as um, you know when we talk about options trading directly um, it makes sense and I'm able to find tons and tons and tons uh, of information about implied volatility when it comes to pricing options and options trading but implied volatility as an indicator when we're looking at stocks or ETFs underlying securities I can't find anything about it nobody's talking about it um, please if, if you find a video or something um, you know link it down in the description below comment down below your thoughts uh, maybe your insight on on this implied volatility indicator I just wanted to bring that uh, to everybody's attention to all my subscribers all my viewers that implied volatility is something very important in in my uh, opinion I think it's very important because it's so objective no matter what time frame you're looking at and because there's no, very limited information out there on the internet like it, just think about that something that's so objective and there's very little information about it it just it's so just mind-blowing like it's so weird right it's why why aren't people looking at implied volatility as the indicator um, I don't know your guess is as good as mine um, I'm ignorant when it comes to uh, this sort of thing I don't know enough I don't have enough information I, I don't have enough knowledge when it comes to um, trading in general um, so I'm very ignorant so I apologize for that but um, thank you so much everybody for watching my videos all the support I've been getting tons of emails um, and, and whatnot to see you know where I am and you know am I still trading of course I'm still trading but I just haven't had enough time to to day trade but I'm at it again I'm, I've been trying to hone down on this implied volatility indicator that I, I just want to figure it out like it's so weird <laughs> I know I'm a broken record I've said this so many times throughout this video that it, it's so intriguing to me but it's worth looking into everybody uh, if you haven't yet subscribe please to my channel i would appreciate it greatly um, good trading information here on my channel and i also show you my day trades as they happen good or bad thank you so much everybody for watching don't forget to like and share my videos comment down below what you thought about this video i would greatly appreciate it see you again next time